Hey everybody, Professor Cynical back again with another No Man's Sky video. Now in today's video guys, I'm going to show you the easiest way to become very, very rich. That's right guys, becoming rich in No Man's Sky now has never been easier and I'm going to show you step by step on how to do it. So, let's get into today's video. Alright guys, so we want to be at the space station for this and we want to get a ship. Now, the higher the class of the ship that you get, the easier this will be. Now, my advice is, if you don't have that many nanites, go ahead and just buy an S-class ship as and when it lands. Otherwise, you are going to have to use some nanites in order to upgrade it. Now, I've got nanites already, so I'm just going to go ahead and buy this C-class Needle Nose Fighter. Because the item that we're going to get out of this is the Starship AI Valve. Now, one of these things is worth 50 million apiece. 50 million apiece. Now, I actually did a giveaway video with Captain Steve not too long ago where I was giving away stacks and stacks of these because they stack up to five and they're worth 250 million a piece for a whole stack, which is absolutely insane. So that's what we're gonna go after today. And the way to do that is by going ahead and upgrading a ship. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this ship to an S-Class. Like I said, guys, if you don't have that many nanites to begin with, go ahead and wait for an S-Class to appear, which can be an S-Class Exotic or whatever the case may be. It just has to be an S-Class to begin with if you don't have the money to upgrade it. I hope that makes sense. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is after we've gone ahead and upgraded this all the way up to an S-Class, we are then going to expand the storage. Now, when you expand the storage, you are going to increase the value of the ship itself. So in my case, I need to pretty much unlock the entire storage. Now for me, it's gonna cost me 750,000 units for one storage, and then it gets more and more expensive the more of the storage units you wanna upgrade it with. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. However, again, if you do not have that many units to begin with, what you want to do is use storage augmentations. You can get them pretty much from just scrapping any ship and you'll get one or two storage augmentations for just scrapping even one that's only like a 500 or 750,000 unit ship. You'll still get one or two storage augmentations and then what you want to do is duplicate them and then come back to this particular stage. So guys, once you have a fully upgraded ship, look at that, it's worth 109 million units that is absolutely fantastic and as you can see there's physically nothing else i can do right now to unlock any more storage it's at its max storage capacity fantastic so from here guys the other thing we're going to do is go ahead and sell the ship we're going to scrap it now if you look at the right hand side we're looking for something called starship i have valves as you've seen there i've got two of them from this one ship which is brilliant. Now, those Starship AI valves for the two of them are now worth 100 million. Because remember, they were 50 million each. So once you've gone ahead and you've got them into your exosuit, whether that be in your general or cargo storage containers, we're going to go ahead and jump into our ship and fly over to the anomaly. So once you're in the anomaly, guys, and you've landed, go ahead and jump out of it. That's going to create a save point, and that is vital at this stage. You need to make sure you have that save point before you do anything else. Next thing you're going to do is go to your personal refiner, and then we're going to select one of those wonderful stash of pair valves. So in my case, like I said, I've got two. You may only have one. Either way, it's absolutely fine. So put those in that slot there. Once you've done that, guys, jump in and out of your ship. Create another save point. And then the next thing we're going to do is take those wonderful Starship AI valves out. That way then they're back into our storage. Now we need to go and find a player. It can be any player. It doesn't particularly matter who. And then we're going to transfer over another random item other than the Starship AI valves. Because remember, we need to keep them. So we're going to go ahead and transfer anything else. So I'm going to transfer some Cobalt. And make sure it says sent first. If they say, for example, you know they can't accept it. Just go to somebody else in the list. Once it says sent, guys, reload your raw or save. So what this is called, guys, is the personal refinery duplication glitch. It's been an absolute staple on my channel for so long. It's pretty much one of the first videos. In fact, it was the very first video that I ever uploaded on the channel was the personal refinery duplication glitch. It's an absolute staple and it's incredibly powerful. 
So, as you can see there, we've got those wonderful Starship IR valves in our cargo. We're going to move the ones that were just duplicated over. And now we're up to 200 million. Again, guys, it's just about now rinse and repeat with the personal final duplication glitch. Until then, you get absolute stacks and stacks and stacks. So, remember, they're worth 250 million for a stack of five. So, what you want to do is get a good few stacks to around about 4.5 4 billion is a nice sweet spot. Then you want to go to a, a random space station, don't matter which one, and then use one of the terminals and sell the lot. That way then you will be a billionaire in an instant. It's really that easy and that simple. Alright guys, well, nonetheless, that's everything from me here today. I hope you've all enjoyed this video. And of course, my name is Professor Cynical, and I'll catch you all again in the next one. Bye for now.